I'm a guac guy. You know when you're at a Mexican restaurant, taco shop or something like that, and there's just this incredible salsa. So good, you can't stop eating it. it tastes straight from Mexico. So here we are, Megan salsa and guacamole. Perfect for entertaining. People have trouble finding a ripe avocado, and if you're gonna make guacamole tonight, then you need ripe avocados. You've gotta use the field test. Go to the plump end and feel. It should give, but it shouldn't be mushy, and it shouldn't be hard. Okay, you don't want it to be too mushy. You don't want it to be hard as a rock. Another way is, you see this top? This guy? You wanna make sure that stays on. If it's off, it's gonna create the brown oxidation in the inside. And these guys oxidize. We went over what that means, right? If you want that nice, really green, your best bet is gonna... F it's, there's gonna be audio problems today, so deal with it. You're gonna wanna find one with the, the stem on. We, we wanna take it off, but we want to buy it with it on. And then you'll see it's nice and bright inside. Run your knife through. Then you can take it. Don't go crazy. Just, just enough to ding it, and then you twist it, and then pinch off. Not crazy, guys. I have to take just like a potato masher and just smash it. Remember, they oxidize, and citrus helps with preventing oxidation. So I'm gonna squeeze in some lime. I'm also gonna use this guy, because what's cool about this guy is when you juice something in this guy, it's also squeezing the juice out of the skin, so it's adding more flavor. And this guy's pretty cool because it's got one setting for a lime. You flip it over, and you can do a lemon, uh, a lemon, yeah. And then you can do a lemon, like that. Next we need a jalapeno. You could add the, all the seeds in, but all the heat is in the seeds and um, I'm gonna make a spicy salsa So with all the seeds. So I'm gonna take the seeds out. And a quick way to kind of do that with jalapenos is just take the top off, stand it up. These spit hot spicy juices, so do it slow. Don't chop these fast. Go wash your hands immediately. Some white onion, but only a little bit of white onion. So I'm just gonna kind of take it and like cut that much off. I'm just gonna cut it kind of like in a small dice. I'm gonna grate in a clove of garlic. It's not necessary, it's not even probably traditional, but I like it. Now, we need salt. It's enough salt. One last thing. If you don't like cilantro, then, you know, you could add mint, you could add parsley, or just don't add anything at all. A little bit of salt, a little bit more salt. And this is a nice bowl of uh, perfect basic guacamole. From here you can add all sorts of crazy stuff. You can add tomatoes, whatever you want. Put this off to the side and start the salsa. Now with tomatoes, tomatoes are kind of a thing for me. If you're going to buy them, try and get them on the vine. The most important thing, smell them. Do they smell like tomato? If they do, 
If they do, that's a good sign. If they don't, you're in for a subpar tomato. It's the bottom line. So let's just take these guys off. Three, four jalapenos. You can use more. This guy's kind of big, so uh, I'm gonna go with three. Tomatillos, kind of like tomatoes, but they're not. They come in these little kind of casings. You kind of have to just... They've got like a little bit of sticky on the outside, so just give them a quick wash. Limes, three cloves of garlic, the rest of this onion, and some more cilantro. Keep the garlic in its wrapper. It'll protect it while it roasts. Take these guys off. All right, so basically what's happening here, I got all this stuff on a sheet tray. I wanna get it all lubed up, and it's going to go into the highest rack in the oven on broil. And I wanna just almost burn these guys. I wanna get color on them. I want these to blister. Um, I want these to kind of get some color, to get everything kind of soft. And then we're literally just gonna throw it into the blender. And uh, that's everything, right? Yeah. So we're just gonna go over to the broiler now and take care of these bad boys. Color created all this flavor now, and all of these it smells just like me like a Mexican restaurant already. So we're literally just gonna take. Remember these guys? These are the uh, the garlic you threw in. Kept them in the shell, and they're just perfectly roasted, just caramelized. We're gonna add some water. Oh, it's a good bunch of the cilantro. It's supposed to go in like this and squeeze the juice out. Salt. We don't want to make it airy, so we don't want to blast it on like liquefy. Pulse it. It's just the beginning of spring. It's not tomato season. I don't like how those tomatoes are tasting. It tastes good, but it's missing that tomato-y flavor. You know what you could do? You could add a can of tomatoes. Give it more of that tomato-y flavor, because these are always kind of bright. Have to adjust the seasoning now. Tomatoes need a lot of salt, and they can also deal with sugar. So one thing I've noticed about salsa, they never taste as good as when they do after they've sat. You know, they just kind of met, you know, they're just chatting, they're flirting. They need to get to know each other. And as it sits and it cools, the flavor really kind of begins to pop. It's a good looking guac. If you're looking for a guac that's packed with flavor, this one's a go-to. And here's the salsa. This guy might even need a little bit more salt. One way to check if something is bland or needs to be seasoned a little bit is take it and then just take a pinch of salt and just throw a little bit on top of there. And if you see it makes a big difference, but it doesn't taste like overly salty, you should add more. This is my guy right here though. I'm a guac guy. I'm a big Mexican fan. I love Mexico, I love Mexican food. I'm gonna be getting a lot into Mexican food at some point. If you like the video, hit subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time in the kitchen.